I'm Sam Brace, Senior Director of Customer Education and Community. And in this product innovation that we're showing today, we're talking about video analytics. This is a chance for us to be able to show some of the new user interface that's available to this, be able to start looking at all of the various types of data that you might be having that comes to the amazing videos that you're delivering with Cloud. Joining me for this walkthrough and demonstration is Aditya and Paul from our product marketing team. Back in April, introduced the video analytics capability. And I'm pleased to report that there was really positive feedback around it. But we also heard from customers about uh, some other improvements that they would like to see in our video analytics capability. So here we are uh, with uh, a bunch of new uh, capabilities that uh, will hopefully make video analytics um, even more powerful and useful for um, our customers. So starting with um, a brand new user interface where um, you can now get time series graphs of some really important engagement metrics like number of plays or unique viewers or average watch time. And the beauty of being able to visualize this across a period of time is it really helps you to understand any significant trends or anomalies that you see in the data and then be able to drill down on what led to that uh, particular data improvement or in some cases maybe a negative effect that you weren't expecting. So this is really helping our customers uncover uh, the the real value of their content and be able to action on it. Another big uh, improvement we've done is we have now made video analytics accessible to videos that may be delivered through any player. So it doesn't have to be just the Cloudry video player, pretty much any video.js or hls.js players that are the most commonly used players out there. You can use those, continue to use those to power your videos and yet be able to capture analytics around there with Cloudry. And the third important update we've made, which a lot of our enterprise customers particularly have requested, is the ability to export all this data goodness into their own business intelligence tools. And this offers them tons of flexibility and options to customize and visualize this data, probably alongside any other sort of website data or app data that they may want to. So it really gives them the ability to visualize these analytics in the context that they were delivered. This is truly incredible. And I think what's great about this is exactly what you said at the very beginning, where we introduced this feature, but we've been able to add more to it based on customer feedback. And I think that's one thing that's really special, frankly, about Cloudinary and the way that we approach these product innovations and updates is that we take a huge effort to make sure that everything that the customers are looking for, we're incorporating into all of this. So getting feedback saying we may be using other video players other than Cloudinaries, but still using Cloudinary delivered videos in that overall effort. Also the ability to bring in all the video analytics into their preferred BI focused software. These are huge efforts that I know I've heard customers ask for. And the fact that we're responding as quickly as we are, that's a great, great thing. And is, in my opinion, if I was a customer, I would feel very reassured knowing that my voice is being heard within the team. So excellent work, Aditi. I am very excited to see this. And so let's bring over our friend Paul here to be able to give us a walkthrough of what video analytics happens to be. Sure. And again, I think Aditya covered a lot of, of it, and this is really just going to walk through the, the interface. So we talk about the, the addition of uh, more powerful time, time series, et cetera. So we're looking at that right here. We have the plays, we have unique viewers, really simple tab interface, watch time, watch rate, things like this, the play rate. So essentially you're getting all of these really uh, great usage analytics. And like we talked about, we can actually drill down if we wanted to see what videos were causing the spike here in July 25th, you can come in here and you can now do a custom date range. So maybe if I just do that week, I can do like the 20th to maybe the tw July 27th and just take a look at what was happening that week. Uh, it will update the graph and we can see a spike here on that day that correlates to what we we're looking at in the previous view and we can see it was caused by uh this hls play that was played a number of times 
we're looking at our demo site. So this is probably one of our, our demos that we saw. And then again, you can toggle to predefined date ranges as well. Just looking at the past six months here. And again, yeah, we get the top videos, we get the most played, we get the completed plays, i.e. who watched completion, things like that. The percentage of people who loaded the player and, and, and watched it. A lot of great stats there. And again, we go into some um, device profiles and OS profiles and browsers, as well as geographic data. And again, this is all exportable here. Um, if you want to get this into like your own BI tool, you could export this and you could use it that way. So really a lot of practical improvements to bring this into being a really powerful analytics tool that's on par with what you're seeing best in class. So all the information you have is here at your fingertips. And again, you can then export it if you want to bring it into your own BI tools for custom views, et cetera. And what I like about this is that you, as you're showing on your screen, this is tied to our program on products, obviously, but this is something that you can easily access just by going into your Cloudinary program media console and mm -hmm. accessing it today. So this is something where as long as you have videos that you're delivering some Cloudinary, you can take a full advantage of all the features that Aditya have shown. And then of course, in this walkthrough that you've given to your Paul.